attention home buyers. If you're looking to buy a house in Champaign, Urbana, or Champaign County in 2024, you need to watch this video because I'm going to talk about multiple offers and what we're seeing across the housing landscape among houses that are being sold right now in February 2024 and in March 2024. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Jay Lehman. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Champaign, Illinois. I serve as Champaign and Vermillion and Piatt counties, and I help people from all walks of life buy their dream house. And I wanna to talk to you right now about multiple offer situations. The last two buyers I've helped secure a house, they've had to pay almost over 10% list price, close to 10% over list price. That means that if the house is priced at 300,000, they gotta pay close to 330,000 just to get that property under contract because we're competing with multiple offers. So I want to break down some strategies we can use to make sure that when you find your dream house and you're in a multiple offer situation, you can actually get that dream house under contract and you can win. So first and foremost, you got to have the best offer. That's not just price, but price is a big part. But there's other things as well that I'm going to break down. But let's break down price first and foremost. You need to have a great offer that is most likely a higher priced offer than your competitors offer. Well, how do you ensure that you're a higher priced offer? Well, guess what? That listing agent who's selling the home won't tell you what the other offers are, but you can rest assured that if a house has three, four, five, ten offers in the first weekend, they're all at least at list price and probably both at list price. So one thing I like to use is called an escalation clause. An escalation clause goes like this. Let's say the house is $300,000. You know everybody's got to be at least in list price or over. So you say, listen, I'm going to offer $310,000, but I want an escalation clause that says this. We're willing to go $2,000 over any written offer up to $332,000. That means if there's an offer for $325, you go to $327. If there's an offer for $329, you go to 331. If there's an offer for 333, you lose out on the house because the ceiling was 332. But an escalation clause can help you leapfrog other offers. That's not always the case in which you're gonna win if your escalation clause is the best. You gotta have great terms too. Here's some other terms. Asking the seller what their ideal closing is. It could be 30 days, it could be 60 days, it could be 90 days. Using that information, make sure you close on the ideal closing date. Also, buying the property as is. A lot of these properties are pre-inspected. Look at the inspection prior and buy it as is if you're good with it. Or if you see a pre-inspection, maybe ask for one or two things on the inspection to be fixed, but I don't recommend that if they're not big, big things. Also, sellers get nervous that their house, because it's getting bid up so high, will not actually appraise out for the value of the final contract price. Now, to make sure the seller feels comfortable, if you're able to, you can fill out an appraisal gap waiver, which means, let's say you bought that house for 332, but it only appraises out at 310. The bank's only gonna loan on that house for $310,000. Who's gonna make up that gap of 22,000 between 310 and 332? Well, if you can do an appraisal gap and say, listen, if we're short $22,000 and it appraises at 310 to 332, we'll make that up by bringing more money to our down payment or adding more money to our loan. And you can determine how big that appraisal gap is. Some people do a big gap, some people do a couple thousand dollar gap, but the bigger the gap, the more comfort it is to the seller saying, man, even if it doesn't appraise out, they're still gonna make up the difference. That's how much they want this house. Another thing that people don't think about is putting a large amount of earnest money down. Now in my market, 1% earnest money is common to see. A $300,000 house, you put $3,000 down. But what if you put 5% earnest money down, 15,000, or 10% earnest money down, 30,000? Remember, earnest money just goes towards your down payment or purchase of the house, but it shows a stronger good faith to the seller that you're in it to win it. When you combine price with an escalation clause, closing on the day of their choice, buying the property as is and using their inspection, having an appraisal gap waiver in there to help make up if the appraisal comes up short, and a high amount of earnest money can ensure you that you have the best chance to get the property. Doesn't mean you will get the property. It means that you're gonna have a phenomenal chance to get the property. Do you have an agent that is able to walk you through these four or five things to ensure that when you find your dream home in spring 2024, fall 2024, or 2025 in a hot market, 
for properties that there's a low inventory in and in desirable neighborhoods, they're gonna have multiple offers, maybe over a dozen offers. They may go over 10% over list price. Do you have an agent that can help you win multiple offer situations? I've helped many of my clients win multiple offer situations and I know I can help you do the same. So don't hesitate to comment, ring the bell for notifications and subscribe because that really helps me. I appreciate you guys watching, let's go.